स्पेरिकल बॉल इज ड्रॉप्ड इन अ लॉन्ग कॉलम ऑफ अ हाईली विस्कस लिक्विड द कर्व इन द ग्राफ इज शोन एंड यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट द ग्राफ दैट विल रिप्रेजेंट द स्पीड ऑफ द बॉल वी एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम ओके फाइन सो वी हैव अ कॉलम विथ सम फ्लूड और सम लिक्विड फिल्ड इन इट ओके एंड अ बॉल इज ड्रॉप्ड इन दिस कॉलम सो यू नो हाउ द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द बॉल इज गोइंग टू वेरी राइट सपोज दिस इज अ स्पेरिकल बॉल how the so obviously you know you are dropping the ball so initially the velocity must be zero so straight away by looking at the curve we can reject c and d because they are not you know the velocity is not zero initially so i may be confused in a and b now right fine so a ball that is you know dropping inside a liquid what are the forces that are acting on that ball okay let me draw the forces so we'll have the mg first mg that is the weight okay and then we'll have the buoyancy force the buoyant force f buoyancy that is equal to what rho of the liquid times the volume of the liquid displaced times g right mg is the weight and apart from this we have a drag force also that will act so the ball is dropping downwards the drag force f drag will be acting against the velocity and this drag force is given by stokes law right for a spherical body this is given by 6 pi eta r v okay where eta is the viscosity of the liquid okay this is the viscosity of the liquid r is the radius and v is the velocity v is the speed of the ball at a particular time so now you see when it was you know it just started there was no drag force because the speed of the ball was zero there was no velocity for the ball but as it gains velocity because the weight is more than the buoyant force it is sinking downwards right that means obviously it is not floating the weight is more than the buoyant force so as you know it will be dropping the speed will be increasing but with that increase in speed of the ball this drag force will be coming in and increasing in magnitude with velocity this one will increase okay so the drag force that is trying to stop the ball will increase as the speed of the ball increases a point will come when the drag force and the buoyant force together will balance out mg okay so a point will come when the buoyant force and the drag force due to the viscosity will balance out the weight of the ball that means after this point there is no net force on the ball okay there is no net force on the ball that means from that particular time onwards okay once this situation is arrived from this point onwards there is no acceleration of the ball here on that means it will continue with that velocity what was whatever was the velocity when this particular thing was achieved okay there after it will be continuing to move after that same fixed velocity that we say is the terminal velocity okay so it will attain v terminal the fixed a constant velocity we say v terminal so and we have the expression for terminal velocity also if you you know we have the terminal velocity given by 2 r square rho of the solid ball that means the density of the material of the ball minus the density of the liquid times g upon 9 times eta eta is the viscosity of the liquid okay so this is the you know formula to get the v terminal even that is a fixed thing right it's a constant thing so you know if i look at the graph which one is satisfying these conditions and representing this so velocity it started from zero then you know it is slowly coming down and then after a certain point the velocity you see is fixed okay okay so after this point here okay for all the time the velocity is fixed at this v terminal okay so obviously this graph here is going to represent the motion of that ball okay so that is given by b option number b 
Hence the answer for this one will become option two that is B. Fine. Thank you.